Welcome back, my kings and queens. Today I'm going to show you how to model a car grill in Blender. If you're curious about how to model a car in Blender, I'm currently working on a full step-by-step -step course on how to model a car in Blender. If you don't want to miss this, make sure to subscribe to this channel and you will be the first one who will know when it's ready. But now let's start right into the tutorial because we don't have time to waste. Like you can see the car is almost ready except for the grill of the car and now I'm going to show you how to do this. Press numpad 1 to go into the front view and press shift and A Head over to mesh and add in a circle. Go into the right frame mode so you can see the circle. Now in this new window, change the align to view so the circle is facing the view and reduce the vertices down to 6. Then go ahead and go into the edit mode by pressing tab and press R to rotate the circle and rotate it by minus 90 degrees. Then go ahead and go into the solid mode again, rotate the view and move the circle to the front of the car. Then back into the front view, you have to scale the circle down to a point where the circle will be only one unit of the grill. So I guess for this car it should be around this size. Then you can press F to fill in the face and press I to insert all of the faces to a point around here and press X and delete this face so we are left with this basic unit of the grill. If you would need a special shape for your grill make sure to do it right now because the next step is to duplicate this basic unit. First select all of the vertices by pressing A and move this unit with G to a point around here. Make sure that your unit is a little bit over the top line of the grill and over the left side of the grill. So as you can see here, it is perfect. Now you can zoom in and press Shift and D to duplicate this basic unit right here and place it somewhere around here. And now you have to zoom all the way in and move these two vertices upon each other. This really needs to be perfect, so take your time like this. Now you can zoom out. Now to test if you place the vertices good enough, just select all vertices and press M and merge it by distance. And now you can see that we removed two vertices. So this is this one and this one. And this is exactly what we need. So press Ctrl Z to undo this. So we're back left with two basic units. Now the next step is to zoom all the way in into this vertice right here. Now you can press A to select all of the units. Press Shift and D and then X to move these two new units only on the X axis. And now move them all the way to the right side until the two vertices are matching. And be sure to left click only then when the vertices are perfectly aligned with each other. Like this. Now you can press left click. So now you have duplicated and moved the vertices where it needs to be. Now you can zoom out and take a look. Now without pressing anything between this step, we press Shift and R to recreate the step we have done previously. And just press Shift and R as many times as we need it to a point around here, maybe even once more. So we are definitely over the right line of the grill. And now again to test it, if we will press A and press M and merge it by distance, we will get rid of 30 vertices and this is exactly what we need. The amount of vertices may be different with your grill. It depends on how many units you have duplicated. Now let's take all of the vertices and move them a little bit to the left side. So the distance right here is the same as the distance on the right side. And now the only step left to do is to repeat the process on the z-axis. So again zoom in, for example into this vertice right here, all the way in until you cannot zoom anymore. Press A to select all, press Shift and D and then Z and just move all of these vertices down until the vertices are matching. So, now we have found the vertices and we just take the time that we need to place the vertices perfectly upon each other like this. Now again you can zoom out and press Shift and R to recreate the process all the way to the bottom and once more like this. Now I can select all and move this maybe a little bit more up to a point like this and just rotate the view so you can see what you've created. And this is exactly what we need. Now at this point, you can press E and then Y to extrude all of the vertices on the Y axis and extrude them all the way back as much as you think you have to extrude them back. I guess this is enough for my purpose. And now to save some vertices and faces, you can press X and delete all of the faces. Then select all of the vertices and move them back to a point where the grill needs to be. So somewhere around here. Then you can press Shift and A and add in a lattice. So make sure that you're in object mode, not in edit mode and move the lattice to the front where the grill is. Maybe go into the front view and scale the lattice up to the size of the grill. So a little bit on the right axis to a point around here. 
also match it up on a z-axis and then you can go into the side view place the center in the center of the grill and press s and y to scale the lattice up in the right axis like this and this is looking perfectly fine then on the right side press on data and here you can change the resolution of the lattice and just add in some i would say loop cuts on the x-axis so for this i think seven is enough and add some on the z-axis i would say four is enough right here now go ahead and select the grill and select the lattice with shift now you can press ctrl p and set the parent to lattice deform and now if you go into the edit mode of the lattice and you select two vertices right here and you move them you see that the grill moves with the lattice so this means that everything that's left to do is to select the needed vertices and move them to the front or the back to make sure the grill is there where it needs to be Now this is looking good to me. Now you can select the lattice and press H to hide it. Now you can go into the front view, select the grill, go into the edit mode and you can press L to select one single unit of the grill and select all of the units that are beyond of the boundary of the grill and press X and delete the faces. And now for the rest of the units that are sticking through, you cannot delete the full unit. So just go into the right frame mode and select for example right here the bottom vertices and just delete them manually like this and repeat the process for the rest of the units Now by doing this there's no more unit that is sticking through and I can tell by the bad lighting that the normals are inverted. So select all of the vertices, press A and then shift and N to recalculate the normals and this makes a huge difference. Now maybe this is even enough for you but I like to add in a bevel modifier so this is looking even better. So go ahead and add in a bevel modifier. And now you can see that it bevels every single unit and this is not what you want. Or maybe this is what you want and you can go with this. Now what I need to do is to select all of the vertices, press M and merge them by the distance. And now you can see that it bevels only the outline of the grill. Now you also can change the rift type, maybe from offset to absolute. If you like the style a little bit more. And now from here you can add in even more details to make this look even better. Now by watching this you've learned how to use the letters and how to model a grill in Blender. Now if you want to learn even more, you can watch my other YouTube videos and if you want to learn as effective as possible, make sure to check out my full step by step course once it's ready. And now go ahead and start modeling some car grills so that you don't forget what I showed you here. Stay safe my kings and queens and we will see us in the next video.